Today, Team Indian Mediation Week is joined by one of the foremost lawyers of his generation in Calcutta, Mr. Pratik Prakash Banerjee. Pratik Da has really helped us and Team Indian Mediation Week make great strides forward. He has been the quintessential friend, philosopher and guide. He could always come to wherever we needed him. Really happy to be joined by you today. My pleasure. Sir, what do you think of the record that Team Indian Mediation Week has racked up until now? Very impressive. Very. Did not appear to be <coughs> promising in the beginning. That's true. That's true. A lot of us have changed our attitudes towards mediation after experiencing it first time. And that's probably a really important thing. So, sir, one of the problems that our team has faced recently is that during mediation awareness drives and such, we've had lawyers come up and say that, oh, what y'all are doing will probably eat into our livelihood. This is not something that we want to support, right? And that's something that we've found really discouraging because if lawyers don't step up to solve the access to justice problem, who will? What's your message to people who have these reservations about mediation? These reservations are, I think, a result of short-term thinking and of lack of awareness of what mediation is actually all about. In mediation, both the sides have to know what their rights are and there is nothing in law which prevents a lawyer from representing them as long as they remember that they are not being adversaries fighting each other to the death. They will have to hammer out a solution which would result in a win-win situation. Lawyers can do it better than the clients themselves because by definition the lawyer is dispassionate. He can come away from the problem and advice. That is why he is a professional. So he can look dispassionately and neutrally if he requires to at both the sides of the problem and then advise his client separately what would result in a win-win situation for both the sides. And if the client is thinking logically in that case, he will understand what is good for him and he will accept a solution which would prevent further litigation. Sir, do you think that our present course structure and curriculum in law schools and other law colleges adic has adequate focus on the access to justice problem? That we Not at all. I think that, as I have said in many forums before, many forums and I have written about it before in blogs, our way in law schools is still very academic. Secondly, we do not teach our law school students what they will face when they go into the real world. So far as litigation is concerned, they know very little. So far as Indian laws are concerned, they know less than what they ought to. And so far as mediation is concerned, or arbitration or conciliation, these are merely subjects that they read to get marks in. Very few of them are actual experience in mediation. In fact, that's very curious. When you have a problem with your friend or a classmate or a senior in your own law school, usually it is mediated. So I would have thought that people who stay in hostels, they would have been masters at mediation. But in reality, it is different. So, so we have volunteers spread out across many cities who are working really, really hard and with nothing to gain from it really apart from solving the access to justice problem. Would you have a message for them just to pump things up a little bit? I have one message for all of us who have been working for mediation, especially the youngsters who are the volunteers. Hang in there. Don't get discouraged. Do not be impolite. Do not preach. Just show the lawyers and every other person you come into contact with whom you want to persuade to mediate. Just show them how it is better. How, with mediation, you can cut out expensive litigation without taking away the livelihood of lawyers who are the stakeholders. Most important, keep a smile on your face. Don't preach. Persuade. If you can do that, then you are showing mediation in real life. Those are great. That's a great message. Thank you very much, sir. We're really, really happy to have been accorded the pleasure. Best of luck. Thank you.